Alrighty y'all, so we are back today with another install on um, my grill insert, Dirty Acres grill insert for the JL. Uh, we just did Michael's, um, so make sure and go check that out. Uh, we're gonna get started on mine. Let's go. Okay, so you're gonna start by taking these little retainer pins off with, um, you can use a flathead screwdriver. There are six of them on top of the grill. So there's one right there, one right here, one right here, one right here, one right here, and the last one right there. Okay, so now you're just gonna pull uh, the front grill towards you and it just kind of unlatches like that. And there are two little clips down below the headlights that you have to get unloosened. Okay, so there are two little clips right here. If I can get it, get it down in there right here that clip onto this part that just snap right off. So just pull it towards you and it'll come off. You're not gonna break it. <laughs> and then there are six little clips down here that you'll just pull with the other ones and they just snap right off to get the whole grill off. And now we're gonna take the factory grill insert off. Okay, so now that you have the grill uh, completely removed, uh, we're gonna take off the factory grill insert. So you're looking at the back of the grill. Um, there are eight of these torque screws that you're gonna remove with a T20 bit. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, now that we have all of the torque screws removed, there are little clips at the bottom. Let me see, there's... Eight? Yeah. So there's eight little clips at the top and the bottom, or there's four on the bottom, four on the top. So you're gonna wanna start by pushing this little tab down at the bottom of it, and then you're just gonna pull back on that tab and then lift up on the factory insert. There are three sections on this factory uh, grill insert and you're gonna wanna start in the middle and then do the sides. And there are actually two in the, the middle of it as well. Oh, I'm gonna do those. 
in these little white clips in the middle of, middle of it. And then you have the middle part of the factory insert removed. So you'll do the same thing with this one. Just use the flathead screwdriver and gently lift up on the factory insert. You want to push these down first and then you can push it over. <laughs> and there you have it. The whole factory grill insert is removed. So now we'll start installing the Dirty Acres grill insert. Okay, so now you're going to want to reassemble your grill, grill back onto your Jeep. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't think of that word. So these little clips down here are just going to snap back in. And now that you have that reassembled and all of those bottom clips clipped back in, you can now install your Dirty Acres grill insert. Okay, so let's go ahead and install the Dirty Acres grill insert. You're just going to slip that right in there against your grill and just center it up. And it's going to sit right on top of those little clips you see down there at the bottom those and it's time to just put the grill back on and then we'll go ahead and put these little clips back in or pins retaining clips retaining retainers and we'll go ahead and put these retainers back in the top of the grill. And now you can close the hood and your Dirty Acres Grill insert is complete. Alright, I love it. And mine actually has a little bit of glitter in it. You can't really see because it's a very like overcast day but it does have glitter in it Don did an awesome job Don and Sean they did an awesome job on both of our grill inserts I love the look of it all right I hope y'all enjoyed this install on the Dirty Acres grill insert I will leave all their information in the description box below. If y'all have any questions, let us know and we'll answer them. And we will see y'all on our next adventure. Bye.